75 degrees. It's amazing how well this is working out. Okay, this is how I'm mounting the fan to the um, angle aluminum. Um, each of the little bars are two feet long, which is the width between the two bars and the condenser. Um, the fan is flat in the lower part and the upper part. Um, I'm using this little line over here, the very center of the, of the fan. And I mark the little points that I'm going to be drilling. Right over here is one. Here is another one. Same thing on the upper part right here and right here so that should make the fan right in the middle of it and then I can place the fan right in the middle of the condenser over there okay I finished uh, making the the mounting bracket for the fan um, ended up using um, the small screws and nuts and lock washers so, uh, so that the little screws will not come loose with the vibration of the of the fan um, here this is ready to be mounted um, on the upper part I have little L brackets and they're being held by the little nut that came with you know with the condenser um, to be able to mount it on the wall I'm just going to use L brackets um, to hold it and then that should be good to go okay Here's the way to be able to test, um, let's say you go to a junkyard, when I went to the junkyard to get this fan, um, I wanted to test it to make sure it's working properly. You take a battery, a drill battery, you connect the leads on it, this is just speaker wire, and um, these are uh, speaker terminals, and you connect it to the fan to be able to make sure that it's working. The little cables, so we have one here, the other one goes here. You can see it's working properly fine. It actually blows quite a bit of air on it. Okay, here's how I'm gonna make the connections um, <clears throat> to the AC condenser. I'm gonna have a half an inch connection, compression fitting that I'll be connecting directly to the line. Um, that's the inner line. And then the outer line, the, li the line that comes out, is going to be a half an inch compression fitting to a half an inch um, male pipe to just connect to a hose, a high pressure hose. From here, it's going to go onto the inner part of the filter, um, which is half an inch uh, pipe thread. Um, the outer one is going to be also... Um, is this one right here and adapt a coupling brass coupling it goes from half an inch to three eighths of an inch uh, this little pipe is three eighths of an inch this is half an inch and then in here I'm gonna be connecting um, this over here a pipe fitting to hose uh, adapter here's the number for it I just got it at Home Depot um, here's the number for the coupling this one said I got it at a different place because these are they, these are they uh, made of out of metal and not copper like this ones. I read somewhere that if you connect copper directly to aluminum, it's not supposed to be good. So anyway, I went ahead and got this one. This ones were actually were a little more expensive than the copper couplings. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect them now. Start uh, connecting them now. Thank you. 
Okay, um, here's the head of the compressor. The air is gonna come out from on top of the head and it's gonna go into the inlet of the air conditioner condenser. Um, I already been formed, formed the pipe. This one right over here is gonna be going like this. Um, to connect that, I'm going to be using the same compression fitting that came with the compressor. I'm just gonna add the compression nut and the compression ring to one side then the other side is going to be connecting over here to this double uh, double compression fitting connection okay here's the final setup the air comes out of the head of the compressor makes a little loop to help with vibration it goes into the AC condenser goes back and forth and then it comes out over here from here it comes out to the little um, used to be a regulator but I removed the regulator and I'm, I'm only using it as a little tank to separate the water uh, from the air. From there it makes a loop and it goes back into a hard line which is attached to the compressor so it will move. I just used the clamp to drill the hole in it and I used the bolt that holds the compressor um, to be able to hold it and then goes back into the tank and there it's kind of hard to see with that compressor fitting. It's kind of dark. Anyway, and what I was using to be able to uh, test for leaks is I use soapy water on a brush and I will put it in each of the, con each of the connections just to make sure until the bubble stopped then I knew there was no more leaks coming out of it. Uh, but let's check the temperature difference. It's amazing what the di with temperature difference between the side that is going into the condenser to the side that is coming out of the condenser. Um, let's check the temperature. Okay, it's a little loud, but I have the compressor going to check the temperature. out like that because it's draining all the condenser on the little line instead of being just from the head to the to the air tank now it's draining the whole uh, condenser but I am super happy how it came out it's amazing the temperature difference
the connections that's coming from the air compressor. an angle is because it drop so the moisture can go down then it goes over there then it drops so that's another drop right where it goes in 